It's one of the biggest TV shows in Cambodia. Every week, It's Not a Dream pulls in massive audiences as it reunites families after decades apart. They're survivors of the Khmer Rouge regime, which killed millions. This is reality TV with ambition, healing wounds from one of Cambodia's darkest and most painful legacies. Four decades ago, Cambodia suffered one of the worst atrocities of the 20th century. We've all heard of the killing fields of Cambodia when 1.7 million people were killed as the Khmer Rouge communists of Pol Pot reigned here with terror for four years. What's less well known is how families here were deliberately and systematically separated and they are still paying the price today. In the capital, Phnom Penh, a small television team is working to bring those separated families back together. This is uh, the studio where we are going to have our reunion programs. And in front of you, we will have a big stage. Soka Yu created the show in 2010 and is now its series producer. She's 35 years old. You weren't even born in the 1970s, no, were you? I no, didn't, I didn't. So you've got no recollection yourself of what yes. happened? But my mother was. They have probably 20 members in a house, and 19 were dying during that war, except her. Soka believes hundreds of thousands of people remain separated. The team has a huge backlog of cases that will take years to get through.